Hello, I'm Kelly and welcome to my channel and this video. Today I am so excited to be talking about The Legend of Korra again. Oh my gosh. Honoring Korra this Friday, I have um, this picture as my screensaver and it's the best thing ever. I love it. That artist is so perfect and they drew that and I was like yes I know what I'm gonna have for my background so yeah just had to show you guys that I miss like reviewing this all the time and I miss talking about it with you guys and I'm actually kind of surprised season four or book four balance is coming to us so early like I don't know we just finished book three a few months ago but I'm excited um I've seen parts of the trailer, which I'm going to watch with you guys right now, but it looks really good, really interesting, and I just wanted to talk about some things and predictions you guys might have and that I have also, so uh, let's just get started and watch this trailer, and then you guys can see my live reaction to it. <laughs> so here we go. Three. Seen a lot of the Bob from Tumblr. Know what that's about. Um, I think this season is going to be obviously with the Earth symbol, but I feel like it's gonna be more about the Earth Kingdom because we saw in the last season how the year just totally destroyed it by killing the Earth Queen. So I think finally having a good stable ruler in bossing site is gonna be important for this season and I don't know hopefully they get a good ruler because that place has been a mess and she's back in Republic City so I guess that means the president unburnished her or whatever the frick he did Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> but anyway, I just have to say that it's so weird to have the three year gap. And I I don't know what I was expecting with that. I was like, okay, Cora's gonna take a few months off or maybe a year at the most to recover and get back on her feet. But it took her three years and a little self-discovery journey away from Mako and Bolin and Asami, I think. That's what I'm getting at with her being in that forest because that forest reminds me of with Aang and the gang um, when they went there and they met the Swamp Benders. And I guess that's where Toph is because Toph is alive and uh, we knew that she was alive but we knew that she was like traveling the world too but then seeing her again or maybe seeing her again or probably seeing her again makes me so nervous and excited and I wonder like why they kept her like such a secret until now like what what is she planning and what, what has she been doing like I don't I don't get that, so I'm excited to see her. And anyway, back to the three year gap. It's really weird to see all of them older because um, I don't notice it so much with Cora, other than her short hair and her worry lines. Um, I noticed it with Mako, Bolin, and Asami that they all look older. They all look like they've gotten married and settled down into that boring, average lifestyle and I'm just like they're in their early 20s and they look like 40 year old people and it makes me sad because Mako it's weird 
I guess he's like a chief police from what I've heard on Tumblr now and like something really high up with the police and so he wears that uniform but it's not red and I guess it goes with the whole earth bending um, season for this but it's green and I don't get that fire bender like badass feel from him anymore I just think of I don't know it's really weird to see him in green and I'm just like Marco and then his hair is all like slicked back and he like used to do that thing and it's just just kind of weird and then Bolin he's gotten good on his lava bending mm, the three years I would hope so but he just like hits the ground and like and it's really cool <laughs> I hope that being away from Korra and like those years, they haven't hardened him. I hope that he still has his sense of humor because that's Bolin. And that's our Bolin. And his hair is kind of different too, but I don't know. Asami, her hair is in a ponytail now, which makes me sad because she can't flow. Her luxurious hair can't be free. And, I don't know, she's bringing back that electric arm thing to beat people up with, and I thought that was cool. It's a nice connection to, like, bring it back to the first season, the first book, so that's interesting. I'm really excited to see Korra and, like, all her things that she had to go through and all of her training to self-discovery. I'm really excited to see, like, what she's doing back in, like, the spirit world and who she's going to me, hopefully Aang, because we need some Aang in our life. Yes! If I get Top and Aang for more than two seconds in this season, I will be so happy. Then I can't, I can't even explain how happy I would be. I could just stop watching the show right there and be life fulfilled. Um, it's weird to see those big robots things fighting each other because they don't look like they're using any kind of bending. It's just kind of them and of course like a person inside of them. And one of them is Julie and I saw this thing on Tumblr about Derek saying something about that he has something in the making or something and it's named after her. And I guess those things were it and they looked like they were on the bad guy's side. And oh my gosh, that girl, I don't even know what her name is, but she was in the third season for like two seconds and she's like, Sue, can I go with you? And I was like, why did that girl just show up out of nowhere? But you know, I guess, I guess that ties back into this and she's like, I'm mad that Sue ignored me so I'm gonna start some shit, I guess. But I wonder if she's the only villain. It didn't look like any other person people were being bad. I don't know. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm just really excited to see how everything plays out and how it's going to end and I don't want this to be the last season. I mean, or the last cycle because I, I just can't stop with these people and these characters are growing on me so much and Janora and all the Earth children they have oh my gosh the hair is so long and it's like cute and Denora's arrow and I can't I can't and they're like suits that they help fly with I guess the here inspired that because they use that to fly with the air bending and stuff so I think that's pretty cool it looks kind of nerdy though but when some you lose some I also heard that that girl sitting beside Zuko for those brief seconds was May, but that didn't look like any kind of version of May, and I'm just like, huh. And then, but this did look like Katara, like healing someone at one point, and I was like, more Katara, yes, Katara and Zuko interaction, yes. Oh my gosh, I hope so. I hope so. And then that ghost Korra you see for like a few seconds, that's really weird and that makes me feel really bad for Korra because you know that that's still weighing on her mind and still bothering her and it obviously still haunts her three years later and I wonder how that's gonna play into this. Maybe it's just kind of like a paranoid thing that she like 
has to get over, but I don't know. I'm worried for Cora, and she's evolved so much from that bratty little girl that that we first met her as, and I'm just like, I don't want anything to touch her if it's going to leave any kind of mark on her, because Cora is bad, and she needs a break. And this scene that I'm looking at right now that I paused it at, it looks like she's going back to where the portals are opening, the spirit things, and I wonder if she's like gonna go into it to try to do something or close them up because I know that they said it was better for them to be open because so she didn't have to be that one medium anymore that they could try to live in harmony by themselves but maybe the avatar is supposed to be the only bridge and that those gates shouldn't be open. That army, like what do they want? I just can't think of any more problems that this world could have. It just, it seems like a lot. And I hope we get another trailer or another something before Friday. And trust me, I will have a video, I will have a video up for Friday. I will try to watch it, try to view it, and try not to scream. And I will have it up as soon as I can. I think that's all I'm going to say about this. Yeah, so tell me your predictions, your thoughts on the trailer, your thoughts for this season, and just let me know. I want to hear what you guys have to think about this because um, I'm always open and I'm always interested in to hearing more input and more predictions and more thoughts because I like seeing who's right and I'm like, oh, someone guessed that. I love that feeling, mostly when I'm right, but... Um, so thank you for watching this video. Tell me your thoughts. Give it a like if you liked it. <laughs> and subscribe for more core related content in the future because I'm definitely going to be reviewing this. I'm so excited. <laughs> so thank you again. Bye!